Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So last we left off, Marcus learned a little bit more about what's going on inside Jericho. We met Lucy. And no, not like, Lucy, I'm home. Uh, and then Car and Alice got into a, another little bit of trouble. I just want them to be safe, and cared for, and happy. Um... But they ended up on the road, uh, well, not on the road, but they ended up leaving uh, to go somewhere where one of the other deviants that came into the care of that other, for lack of a better word, psychopath, he's taking us, taking them somewhere safe. But um, let's just hop into the game and see where it takes us. Ooh, we're back with Connor. 7.51 p.m. All right. So, ooh, what is that? Um, I'm going to take a little extra care in looking around because I know the last time we were here, or Connor was here, I did miss some stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to see all of it touch. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything else to see. I mean, there obviously is this. I don't know what this is. But um, I'm going to take a little bit more care. I'm going to look around. I'm going to see if there's anything that I can interact with or look at or all that good stuff. So let's touch this. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... Wrong hand, Connor, but okay. Ooh. Okay. The little LED went yellow, so it spooked him. I, I don't know what that is, but it's m giving the vibe of like, it's the memories of all the androids that have come through here, maybe? I don't know. But God, if I don't love this little Zen garden, it's so calm. I love it. Um, yeah, so that's going to lead us right over to Miss Amanda that's standing over there. Uh, I don't, yeah, there's nothing else to see over there, but I do just want to see if there's anything we can do up here. Um, it's just, it's so calm. And the rain, just the way it's hitting everything, hitting the water, the ground, these, like, tiles... The music, it's just so calming. I could fall asleep to this. I really could. Ooh, bonsai tree. My dad wants a bonsai tree. He doesn't know how to take care of it. Neither do I, but it could be a nice little father-daughter bonding uh, moment. We'll learn together how to take care of a bonsai tree. We just cut it down till it's nothing but branches. <laughs> okay. And over there, you can see, is the little headstone for the previous Connor that died trying to save the child in the beginning of the game. But let's see Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Hi, Mandy. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? I would love to go for a walk with you, Amanda. I already know she's not going to be happy with what happened with the previous deviant. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. It really is a pity. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I'm sorry, Amanda. Did you manage to learn anything? I found his diary and all of his dirty I found secrets. Its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? <laughs> it's rocky at best. It's man. improving. Slowly. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. Mm, I don't know about that.
We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I I'll won't do it, Amanda. You. I'll make you proud. The just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Yes, ma'am. Guessing this is Hank's house. Sure is. I almost thought for a second it was um, Todd's house, which doesn't make any sense because we haven't talked about Todd in ages. But, um, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? <laughs> then. Vintage? Right behind, like, the... I don't know if it's a phone or a GPS. How is my driving? Call... I can't make out what that is. I gotta get, like... Hang on. I gotta, like, press my nose up against the monitor real quick. 555, five, five, I don't care. <laughs> that sounds like Hank. Alright. What else we got here? I love Detroit. Someone in Michigan loves me. I love you, Hank. Connor is that someone that loves you. Okay. Alright, can't do anything with the garage. Hello? Hank, are you here? Is that his bedroom, I think? I don't know. I can't tell. It's not a closet, so I'm thinking bedroom. Oop. Hello. <gasps> Sumo. Hi, Sumo. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. There's like a... I'm trying to like peek around the freaking blinds like it's my head. Uh, looks like a collapsed chair. I hope Hank's okay. Hank! It's me. Connor. I know I should probably just ring his doorbell, but... I want to be nosy. Ooh! The most doghouse. Aww. Okay. Um... Let me, uh, do I want to? Sure. Oh. Oh, God. Hank. Lieutenant Anderson. This is breaking and entering, but it's to save the lieutenant. Go, Connor. Oh. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. Hi, I'm sumo. here to save your own. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Aw, I love Sumo so much. I would do anything for Sumo. Lots of dirty dishes. Come on, Hank. Clean up after yourself, man. Wakey, wakey, Hanky boy. Black lamb, scotch whiskey, 40% alcohol. Okay. I'm, I'm no lightweight by any means. Well, then again, I don't know. I don't really drink that much, but I even have a problem with some mixed drinks that have too much alcohol. 40%. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Hmm. <laughs> that's not a good place for a gun to be. Only one bullet. 357 Magnum. That's not good. 
traces of alcohol. Yeah, we figured that one out. I could have told you that even without looking at that. Heart, slight arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. Thank goodness. Lieutenant. Netflix, coma suspected. Hmm. Tap tap, <laughs> wakey wakey. Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Just smack the crap out of him. Wake up. Thank you in advance <laughs> for your cooperation. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Ray! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> I love Sumo. <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. He's like one of those dogs that's. It, it could. That dog could kill you, but he's just a gentle giant, and I love that about him. Come on, I'll Hanky leave Boy. I'm alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. We got things to do, bud. Come on. We gotta get you sober. What the hell are you <laughs> what? doing? <sighs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. <laughs> cold, Connor. As cold as you can make it. Wake that sucker up. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Nope, no can do. Uh, rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant. Yeah, you do. yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. You're not you when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. That's it. Connor, get him a Snickers. <laughs> I'm gonna tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some <laughs> clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is very much Hank. Oh, man. It's in your room, Hanky boy. Is that a... Oh, it looks like a graduating class of some kind. It's so small, it could easily be mistaken for like a fence or something. Um, yeah, probably like the uh, uh, grad police academy graduates. Words almost didn't come out right. <laughs> what do you want to wear? Whatever. <laughs> Hippie, stripey, or streaky. Hmm. Do we want Hank to be a hippie? Hmm. Let's do stripey. I think he'd look very flattering in stripes. I'm no fashionista. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> okay. Here's your clothes. Are you okay? Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh... Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Sure thing, Lieutenant. <laughs> really should put in the metaphobia warning there. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. What is this? The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Hmm. Many experts are suggesting okay. the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. 
Oh. Okay. Is that it? Of course, as soon as I put the freaking book down. Okay. Century. Time to pull the plug. Screening for depression. College ball. Should varsity athletes accept sponsorship? New touchdown replay technology. 100% accurate. A recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the rise widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. Organsky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social interaction is the leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person, and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on for your Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The, up the upgrade costs $150 but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults. But Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology. I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go outside and talk to somebody. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I, I will be one of the first to admit it. Um, my nose is pressing to my phone screen a lot for, the, I mean, the better part of the day. And if it's not, well, I won't say the better part of the day, but a lot throughout the day. And if I'm not on my phone, I'm watching something or I'm editing a video or I'm recording a video. So <laughs> we are a society of screens. Sales of Android intimate partners are exploding. Tainted love. Police use marketing data to identify criminals early. Po politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Hmm, well, that shouldn't be a question for today, but, you know, we're not going to get into that. Androids capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep the stores stocked. Though the idea seemed far-fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's, this year's record divorce rate seems to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than with a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Oops, I meant to exit. <laughs> be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Aww. At least be a little bit happy that you're going somewhere with me. Oh, I wanted to check other stuff in his... in his home. Yeah, there's a lot there I missed. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the only other option here would be, um... Sumo just um, attacks you. <laughs> but I guess the only reason that would happen is if you didn't know um, Sumo's name. So. Okay. Oh. Missed quite a few things there. I guess I shouldn't have gone around the back. I should have just went straight to the front door. Okay. Well, they're both neutral. So... Let's just continue, I suppose. November 6, 2038. 801 PM. Ah, this is uh Marcus and I know the name of it. Jericho. My gosh, I already forgot the name of it. We're uh getting supplies. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. Yeah, and if what they... We, we need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Right, if they catch us, we're dead. But if we don't do this, we're also dead because you won't have the supplies you need to repair yourselves and the others. So. 
Just think of it as a lose-lose situation. <laughs> Don't let them see us. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Ooh. Well, can we speak telepathically to each other now? Okay. Where are we going, guys? Excuse me, Josh. Go, Marcus, go. Well, there's a cyber life uh, warehouse. Oof. I don't like how wobbly this is getting. I feel like the wobblier the camera gets, it's almost like it's foreshadowing you're gonna like slip and fall. Don't fall, Marcus. Wee. Okay. What's going on? Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. You know, you're just kind of standing there. You think the drone would see you. But I guess not. Okay. Let's see. Okay. What if we go this way? Oh. Okay. He spotted. Now, is this? Okay. That's promising. And there. There. Hmm, too far. Is there another oh, there is. Ah, I see. All right, let's do it. You okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Thanks, North. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Let's do it. Excuse me, pardon me. There we go. There's one of the crates. Ah, blue bud. And no, not like the TV series. <laughs> Uh oh, what's going on? Hi. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. Um. John! God uh -oh. damn machine! Where is it this time? Uh. Grab him and hide. John! I need your help. John! Mm, release. There you are. What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Oh Everything boy. is boy. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. 
Understood. Ooh. Let's finish up and get out of here. That was scary. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Honestly, I'm surprised that worked. You'd think even after you release him, you would just... Hey, there's people hiding over here. Well, other androids, not people. All right, what else? Check the bigger crate. That crate? That's a crate there? Oh yeah, I guess so. Just was part of the wall for a second. There's only one thing that could be in here. Yep. That's exactly what I expected. I mean, there's what else would be in a crate that big? Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? All the other ones would have said the same thing to you. I mean, you could join us. It's all in programming, my dude. It's all it is. You're awake, friend. Your eyes have been opened. And that's all we can carry. Let's go. Awesome. Everyone's happy. I love when I can make everyone happy. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. We can't just leave them. Us. Oh, well, okay. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. I'm not passing up a chance like that. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Wait, why don't... Why wouldn't you leave your bag with them, though? Okay. So, obvious first entrance would be the door, but may not be a good idea. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Awful idea. <laughs> uh, there were two windows over here. Hmm. There's one way to get in. Okay. Goddamn dogs. There's the key. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Threaten the guards. Hmm. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling. I'd rather him. not if I can avoid it, if I'm being honest. As it is, the public already has a pretty bad opinion about androids. And I'd like to lessen that as much as I can. Okay. Cause a blackout. That's an option. It looked like there were three. Yeah, so what's the other option? Oh. Lure the guards outside. Hmm, that's another option. But I feel like that's less likely to work because they could always just come right back inside if they don't see anything. Like, they're not going to go looking. So, I'm guessing that's... 
take the screwdriver to cause the shore. So... Yes. Because at least they have... Not they, but I'll have more time to, um... Get the key for the... For the truck and sneak back out, so... Let's do it. Wong. Shit. What's going on? Oh, there gone. was no sound for that. That was weird. Must be the fuse box. I got a flashlight somewhere. Okay. Here it is. Get the key, get the fuses key, get there. the key. I don't know shit about electricity. And I don't get paid to fix fuses. Let's just flip the switch. That doesn't work. We can call maintenance. Go, Marcus, go. Oh, what are you waiting for? Get out. You're just gonna open the window and stand there like a fool? Run, run, run. Did you get it? I got the key. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get back to Jericho. Hurry! <laughs> Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen when we get up there to the the exit. But, uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, we can just go. Well, that was easy. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I try. Admired. Aw. I came to Jericho because... Here, androids are free. Uh, Josh isn't friends with me, though. <laughs> free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. <laughs> Starting to feel a bit like a prophet, but okay. Pop off, I guess. Oh, I thought we were gonna at least get to talk to Lucy again. Find out what's going on. Or at least let her know what happened. Wow. Could have ended very differently. I wonder how else that could have gone. Avoid the guards or get caught, obviously. Hmm. That was the either threaten them or lure them outside. I don't know which is which. But either one, one of them would have still avoided. So I guess that would have been if you lured them outside, you would have also avoided them. I don't know.
Yeah. Yeah, either one. Well, not either one, but. Yeah. One of the choices, or two of them rather, would have led you almost directly to another ending. But at that point, you wouldn't have gotten the truck full of parts. Hmm. Okay. Well, either way, um, Jerrica, we are now, well, Marcus is. Uh, now admired by Jericho, North and Simon are friends, and Josh is neutral. Probably because he's not too happy that I went and risked uh, the whole operation, so to speak, to get the truck. But if you think about it, he his opinion should have gone right back up because we got the truck with all the parts. I digress. Josh is just picky. Um, and the public opinion is still hostile. So, you know. You get what you get and you don't disrespect or whatever, however the saying goes. How's that saying go? I don't remember. Anyways. <laughs> ADD moment. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. um, Yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I don't want us to get too long. But if you liked what I did, please be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. It continues to let me know that I'm doing something right. And if you think I could have done something better or differently, please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Constructive criticism is always very helpful. Um, and be sure to share and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I post another video. Um, but with all that said and done, if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.